Eventually, my train of thought was interrupted by a knock on the door. Come in, I replied. When the door opened, Wren stepped inside with a pile of clothes and my blade resting atop them. Hey, how are you feeling? Wren asked with a smile. She seemed pleased to see me all right. I'll survive, I said. Noticing she had more clothes with her than just my ruined cloak, I took my sword belt and secured it around my waist before placing my blade through one of the loops. You were in pretty rough shape when I found you out there. I'm glad to see you all right, she said distantly, seeming as though having seen me that way had pained her greatly. Your gran said if you hadn't brought me back, I would have died, so I guess I owe you some thanks, I replied, starting to look through the clothes. She was about to say something, but the clothes sucked, so I asked, What is this crap? Don't you guys have anything to wear in this place that won't make me look like some kind of noble or something? Wren seemed a bit taken aback and offended. She crossed her arms and asked, Are you kidding? This is some of our best stuff. I eyed her, and she rolled her eyes and sighed before saying, I guess I can take you to look at what we have. But then I spotted something I hadn't noticed before. The black robe she'd brought me hung just past my knees and would make a perfect coat if left open. So I grabbed a pair of white pants and pulled them on before throwing the robe over my arms and using my sword belt to secure the pants to my waist. Last, I tied a red waist wrap around everything to keep the robe from flowing behind me. Ready? Wren asked, seeming like she was tired of waiting. I nodded and she pumped her fists with excitement. Great, so what's the plan? Ever heard of a place called Ordos? I asked. Yeah, of course I have, Ren said, seeming a bit confused why I was asking. Apparently, that's where the Ming Song family lives. Your dad said he was headed there. I know your gran said it will be fine, but I can't shake the feeling that he needs my help, I explained. Ren seemed outright confused now, asking, Really? Why's that? The people who've died since death has been nullified are decaying. Their bodies are transforming as their souls burn up what remains of their flesh and their bones, and becoming almost like zombies or the undead. But that Ming Song woman, I stabbed her right through the heart, but her wound closed up and she didn't seem to be rotting like the others, I explained. So what does that mean? Ren asked. I guess we'll find out in Ordos.